Coming up next, it's a light heavyweight matchup between Vulcan Uzdemir and Alexander Gustafson. And now our tale of the tape for this light heavyweight fight. Gustafson is three years his senior. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC life. Here you go, first round, you ready? You ready? Let's All right, good go. to have you with us as we get underway here at the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec. Able to land to the body there with the left kick. Oh, nice jab by Houston. He's doing a good job of throwing punches and kicks from all angles here. Really doing a great job of mixing things up. Uzdemir gets hit with a kick. Nice punch. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt! Oh, straight right. Oh, look at this! Who saw that coming? Nice oh! He hurt him! Back up. He goes in and secures the takedown. as he looks to improve position here. That one hurt. <laughs> yeah, he's digging into that leg kick. Able to land a looping right. Also, he gets clipped once again here. Oh! He's got him hurt here. Checks that leg kick. Nice jab by Ustami. He oh! hurt him! This could be it! Oh! He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Went for the head kick. Ustamir gets caught with that punch. Side leg kick lands and immediately a mark on his opponent. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. That could have been lights out. That's a right huge hand. right hand. Wow. Gustafson's strike there is blocked. Nice job by the defense. 90 seconds to go. Oh, he might be out. Oh, he missed that kick. He hurt him again. Under a minute to go in what has been a wild round one. 45 seconds remain in the round. Oh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Gustafson. Showing the punch. Like that, in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Alexander Gustafsson is a long, tall fighter with excellent footwork and uses that reach very well. He's one of the best in the UFC at utilizing his extreme reach advantage. He has excellent striking, very good jiu-jitsu as well, and is becoming more and more of a complete mixed martial arts fighter on a daily basis. Very nice leg kick for him there. Can't take too many of those. Oh, he moved right into the kick there. A kick to the head lands, and he's shown a susceptibility to that in fights prior. You can't lean into those power shots. Let's see if he can circle out and make the adjustments here. And he caught the kick.
It is a lightweight bout between Edson Barboza and Tony Ferguson. And you ready? You ready? Let's go well, fight. a huge night of live UFC action coming your way as we get underway from United Center here in Chicago. Well, he's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Edson Jr. Barboza. Beautiful inside leg kick. And they are exchanging leather early. Good punch. That one hurt. Oh, he got everything behind that kick. Nice leg kick. Well, he moved right into that straight punch, Joe, and that one landed with some pretty good sting on it. Ferguson's overhand punch to the head looked good for a second, but ultimately that one gets blocked. Big oh! elbow to the head. He's hurt. He's got him hurt here. Body kick, look at that. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast. Oh! This could be it. Let's see it again. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliata has called a stop to this contest. All right, coming up next, it's a Bantamweight matchup between Joe Soto and T.J. Dillashaw. Are you ready? You ready? Oh. Here we go. Oh! Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Soto's uppercut is blocked. Looked like for a minute he had a window there. It closed quickly. Lands a giant kick. Oh, very nice. Knee to the body. Big shots being landed on both sides here. Really threw everything into that uppercut but fell short. While the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's gonna have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Nice punch by Soto. Oh! oh! Soto hanging in there somehow. These are 
some bombs he is throwing. Look at that. Oh, a nice punch out of the break there after he had caught the leg. So he is really starting to put it all together now and clearly seems to have found the timing of his opponent. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Good right hand over the top. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's hurt. He's rocked. Oh, he might be out. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Soto gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up, Joe. How about that chin? Good defense there. Kick to the body by Soto. That one hurt. Clean with the right hook. Dillashaw with a kick there to the body. Well, you know about the offense, but how about the defense? Overhand blocked by Soto. Huge punches landed by both men. Finds a home for that left hook. Able to check the high kick. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Blocks the shot to the body. Oh! oh. to go in what has been a wild round one. Doing a fantastic job of blocking shots. 45 seconds remain in the round. All right, well, he gets back to his feet here, Joe, but he looks like he is in a world of trouble. Big left hand there inside. Oh! He's in big trouble. Round two here. Now starting off this round, you've got to think that the barrage that he endured in that last round is still affecting him. He's going to want to start this round off and move and avoid taking any damage. T.J. Dillashaw has spectacular footwork and movement, beautiful striking from both the southpaw and orthodox stance, and he has an excellent wrestling base as well. Quickly gets that foot to the target. Oh, oh, oh. This could be it right here. Oh, he missed that kick. Soto gets touched by that kick there. Oh! Soto's cut is getting worse here. Man, is that bleeding. He missed that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Exactly. Just over three minutes to go in round two. He just rocked him to the left hook there. Oh, he's got it going. To oh! Beautiful job to catch the leg and then 
book his opponent to the ground. Now let's see what type of damage he can inflict. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. He caught the kick. Oh, beautiful strike there as he lands up top, and he does so right after catching the legs. So he tagged him again. He's hurt. This could be it. Oh, that's the defense you're looking for, Joe. Kick block. Well, he's landed some excellent shots in this fight tonight, but more often than not... One more massive punch he lands. That real incredible round with several moments where it looked like it might be over. Ariane Celeste on hand as usual. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third round underway. That last round was absolutely insane. Both guys got rocked. If they continue at that pace, someone's going to sleep in this round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. See the total strikes. Oh, nice punch there by Soto. Oh, vicious knee to the body. that got him the victory. Yeah, man, crowd loving it. Just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight. Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. Let's take a look at it from another angle here. This is the one that causes the knockdown and the subsequent follow-up strikes for the knockout. Look at this. Bang. The official decision is in. Here's for... Coming up next, it is a heavyweight collision between Mark Coleman and the Ream, Alex. You ready to fight? Ready. Well, good to be back at the crew here in Newark, New Jersey, as we get underway. Good defense there. And there's a takedown attempt. Oh, nice body kick. That punch will work right through the guard. And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, beautiful kick there. The left hook gets oh, on.
just in time kick there by Overeem. Yes. And both guys really throwing with authority. Nice look to the body. Big left hook. He's got one right here. Oh, look at this. He saw that coming. So he makes out of the exchange. Punches block. Beautiful hook. Blocking all the shots coming towards his head. Down to three minutes now to go on the round. And Alistair tags him. Starting to see some of the damage. Oh! This could be it. Oh, very nice. Oh, he tagged him. Oh, he might be out. Really missed with that right hand. Just over two minutes to go in what has been a furious round one. Under two minutes now to go in round one. How about that shin? Good combination there by These guys are just standing in front of each other and throwing bombs. Well, he gets cracked to the head there, Joe. He continues to be vulnerable by leaning in. He's almost moving into the strike at this point in time. You gotta get that head off the center line. Watch him through. Oh, he oh. Him. He's got him out. He's got him hurt here. And he's looking for that left. Huge block there. He's doing a very nice job protecting his head here. Look at that nasty jab. Nice defense there. Huge block. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Oh, wow. Look at this. Leg attempt here. Nice job to catch the leg. Oh, oh. Ten seconds to go here. Let's see what happens. So a strong five minutes down. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So... You ready to fight? Ready. Round two underway. That last round was an all-out brawl. If they continue like that in this round, someone's getting knocked out. Alistair Overeem is one of the greatest strikers to ever enter into the octagon. He's the former K-1 Grand Prix champion, the former strike for... He's looking to lock up that guillotine choke. In the half guard here. He hip escapes. He's out of the full mount. And he winds up on top. Coleman gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Yeah, and here he goes again. Taken down by Coleman. He's posturing up here. Joe doing a nice job here, staying busy from the box. Excellent movement on the ground here, always trying to better his position. Slides him over, and nice reversal here. Timely defense there, huge block for him. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control of this second round. Coleman shot there is blocked. Lands a punch. And speed, man. Excellent defense here. Really good job blocking all those shots coming at his head. Well, he just missed on another strike there. He has not been efficient with his... Oh! He's hurt here. Body kick, look at that. That oh, one appeared to stop. Look at this, take down. He's out of full guard and into half guard now. Full mount, look at this. 
Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by the ring. Oh, he's out! Wow. It's over! Wow! It's a bantamweight title fight between TJ Dillashaw and Dominic Cruz. Our tale of the tape for this bantamweight championship fight. Dillashaw is 31, Cruz is 32. He will have a one inch reach advantage. We send it inside the octagon. The veteran voice is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. The action begins, a referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the... You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go. Five rounds if needed to determine the UFC bantamweight champion. Cannot wait to see how this fight plays out. Oh, slam me! Oh, very nice. And he eats a right hand there. Oh, man, they are winging at each other. Lands a big right hand early. Body kick, look at that. Punch coming, it's blocked. Oh, jumping knee! Oh, big left. Clean overhand. Oh, he's going for it here. Oh, well done there, Joe, as he catches the kick. Dillashaw gets back up, back into his comfort zone. Nice counter right hook there. Just missed with the left there. So his opponent lands that kick to the body, Joe, and he has shown an increased susceptibility to that strike oh. here tonight. This could be it. And there he swung with a haymaker. Hard straight punch. Dillashaw gets touched by that kick there. Nice. Very nice. Oh, good power left kick. Caught that one. Oh, he catches the leg there and then works it into a takedown. High level mixed martial arts there. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Joey missed with that straight right attempt. That one hurt. Oh, he got caught! This could be it right here. Under two. Oh! Oh, very nice. He caught the kick. Oh, he catches the leg. Now going for the takedown, Joe. And He's able to get him down. Right to the liver. Vicious combo there. He's hurt to the body. You can tell that shot hurt him bad. Body kick, look at that. Good defense there. Wow. He is really finding a home for those body kicks. That is spot on, Joe. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. Kick to the body. Oh, flip him with the jab. How about that chin? He's fainting with the punch. Oh, big right hand. Right hand. Oh. oh, and just like that, the fight is over. A huge roundhouse kick for the knockout. Indeed, Joe, that was a tremendous kick to end the fight tonight. Caught the opponent flush with full force and extension. And frankly, there was no chance after that. The fight was over as soon as that one made contact. Certainly one for the highlight reel here tonight. Bruce Buffer is in the octagon with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 36 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight Champion of the world, Dominic the Dominator Cruz!
Well, he's been talking about those two words throughout fight week and new UFC champion. He completes the mission here tonight, and you can see the emotion spilling over. Absolutely incredible what this fighter was able to accomplish, and it is going to take a special performance to dethrone the new UFC champion of the world.